Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining back. Uh, so in this video, we are going to talk about image retention policies of OCIR. So we can set up uh, image retention policies on the images that are stored in the repos using the uh, in, within the OCIR uh, service. Uh, there are three different policies that we can attach. You can you can have policies on images that have not been pulled for a certain number of days. Uh, images which have not been tagged for a certain number of days uh, and images that have not been given a particular docker tag uh, specified and exempt from the automatic deletion of your images. Uh, the service itself allows you to do uh, what it does is that it actually goes through an orderly process check uh, against the policy that you have defined and then it can delete the images according to, according to the based policy. When you create the repo within OCIR uh, there exists a default policy which basically retains all the images uh, but you can also edit this default policy or you can also just create a custom policy the policies which you create are regional and are applied on a repo level so you can have separate policies for individual repos within ocir in a in a, in a particular region when you create when you attach a repo to a policy it can only be part of one image retention policy at one time once the policy is created uh, there is something that we call as a cooling period uh, which means that it can take several hours to take effect uh, it, this is just because to avoid any unintentional deletion of your images when you create the policy for the first time so let's go ahead on the console and see that how it looks on the console itself so I'm logged into the console and I'm on my registry page within uh, my Phoenix region. So these are currently, I just have two repos here. Uh, I create an example repo in the first step and then I use the Docker client to push some Nginx images and create an Nginx repo. I can go to settings and from there I can see the image retention policies. So I can create, there is, an, there is a global policy which is there, which currently says that it retains all images. I can edit the global policy or I can create a custom policy on the repos that I have. So if I click on create policy, I provide a policy name, which can be like example policy. Uh, and then there are a couple of uh, like uh, rules that I can uh, add to it. The first rule is delete any images that haven't been pulled in a specific number of days. So any number of those. So right now it says 30. So any images that have not been pulled for more than 30 days would be deleted in this if you select this policy. The second is that delete any images that have been tagged in a specified number of days. So if any images that haven't been tagged for 30 days, they would this policy would also delete those images. You can also exempt uh, any uh, any particular tags which are part of your uh, repo. So, for instance, you don't want to uh, like don't want to delete any images which are uh, tagged with prod or any particular project, anything, any any specific tag that you have. And you can add a list of tags uh, with a comma separation. So, once you uh, save the policy. On the console, it would uh, easily tell you that what are the current policy details and also tell you the exempt tags that you have. Now with this policy, there are no repositories currently attached. So over here, you can add the repository so that the policy can be applied to that repo. So now uh, this policy that you have created is applied to the example repo that we have created. Let's apply to the another one as well. This is how you actually add the repos and you can just click on it to delete it to just remove the repos as well. You can also edit the policy. So if you go ahead and click on this button, it lets you either delete the complete policy or edit the policy that we just created. You also have this global policy. So you can edit this global policy as well. Right now, the policy gives you the same rules but right now it retains basically all images but you can also change your global policy 
which would mean that the global policy is applied to all the repos within this current region that you have. Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, this is the last video in the OCI registry service. Uh, please feel free to join back in some of the other videos regarding cloud native services and OCI. Uh, until then, there are a bunch of links that are available on the screen and you can take a look at some of our um, other training or our hands-on labs as well. Thank you.